Hello and welcome to another Blender Vision tutorial where you get a no-nonsense direct step-by-step -step approach to getting your tasks done. Today we will be looking at linking objects into different files. Oh, by the way, I'm you and you're me. Uh, something like that. Here we go. Okay, so I, what I've done here, I've got two files open, uh, one with a, a vending machine, which is just one object in the whole thing, and the other one is going to be a animated or animate a a, a pfft, let me say this right, a character rig. So I'm going to show you how to do both of these objects. We start with the easy one, but well, they're both very easy to be honest. They're exactly the same, pretty much. This is just one object. There's only one object in this scene. If I move that around, oh, there is a couple of lights, but we don't care about those. So what I've done is I've made this basic object, it's all one one thing. Uh, it doesn't matter if there are other objects, you just do the same for each one. Uh, in fact, I can show you, let me just add a, another cube. Oh, we'll get rid of that. Let's add quickly a, uh, go with a cylinder. We'll pretend that this is a, a can sitting on top of the, the the vending machine okay so what I'm gonna do is name it's always important to name these things let's call it a can <laughs> okay so that's you that's how can this is our um, vending machine this is also named if I select that you can see it's named that's very important don't forget um, I think we're gonna need to save this let's just save that so that the can is saved in the in the scene so what I want to do now is go and open a new instance of Blender. This is a file, let's say that we were setting up our scene here to do our animation, or if you're doing a video game, whatever. And you want to bring those objects in. So what we're going to do is go to File. We're going to link. Now there's two different ways you can do this. Append. Append means that you're going to import the model as a whole. If you wanted to bring it into this file and then edit it some more, then you're going to, you're going to use Append. But for this, what we're going to use is link. Link means that it brings in the object uh, skin, let's say, which is just the, obviously the skin and the textures, but the actual date that is is still in the other file. So this is what you're going to use when you're going to do an animation scene. So you can bring objects in, um, and you can put them in place or uh, manipulate them, but the data is still going to be kept in the original file. That way you can edit the original file and those those edits will copy through to this file so this is what you're going to want to use to, to animate and, and whatnot uh, for video games perhaps as well for scenes so what we're going to do now we're going to click link and we're going to um, find we're going to go through here and find our objects which is in miscellaneous things vending machines you click vending machine and what you want to do is go to object and you want to select vending machine and you want to select can by shift clicking so you've got the two objects there and you want to click link and there they are they have appeared in this file but in this file now you can select them separately but you can see it's a blue outline which is unusual that is indicating that you cannot edit if I try and go into edit mode it doesn't let me it's all grayed out you cannot edit this object any way shape or form in here um, I think it might let you do certain things in. No, it's pretty much all grayed out. Maybe shadow. No, nothing at all. Okay. No, you can't do anything. So, this is literally linked. So I cannot edit this uh, this object in this file. If I want to edit this, I'll, I need to go back to the original. Now that is cool because we can save this. Let's save this uh, on the desktop whatever it is where's my desktop there let's save this and call it I don't know new file just for argument's sake now this is saved if I go into the original file where I can edit these things let's edit the can for example let's make it um, let's make it way fatter it's a big fat can now I want to save this if I save that go back into the new file uh, which is this one 
and then revert which basically means you're gonna reopen the file or reload the file as it says there reload save file let's click that uh, oh yes <laughs> as you can to confirm click revert and there you go the the change has carried over so we now have a really fat can at the top so that's cool and obviously this this is the same if you would had um, textures on you want to do adjust the texture or something you go back in the original file make the adjustment make sure you save it come back in here revert and it will the changes will show up but of course we cannot move we can't even move this file you can see there's no there's just a pinpoint there the origin there's no um, manipulator arrows or anything on there you cannot do anything with this if you do want to do that like in an animation scene you may want to have an object that character needs to move so you link that object in you can move the object if you go to object and you go to do, 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 make proxy where is it there it is control alt p oops well okay control alt p make proxy and there you go is now outlined in a the normal color whatever color your uh, theme is showing so you can now move it if you press g you can see these lines here press g you can move it around i'm not sure if you can yes you can scale it as well and of course rotate but again you still cannot edit although it shows like it's lit up you cannot go into edit mode it will not let you so you can now use this object as a prop in your scene you can have it move around do whatever you can animate it uh, if you press i it lets you animate the object um, but any changes you make you want to make to it physically or texture texturally if that's a word you need to go back into the original so that's cool so right let me just delete these two objects um, we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you now how to do this with a uh, character that's got a rig. So I've uh, uh, you know I, as I always say, it's always good to re um, make sure you've named your objects relevantly. So we've already done that. So go into my new file. I'm gonna go up to file. I'm gonna click link, and now I'm gonna navigate to Tutorial Blends Monkeys. Ruben, there we go. So what we want to do now is go to object. Now we want to select everything we need to bring in. So everything I need is Ruben. It starts with Ruben, so it's nice and easy. So I'm going to click Link, and there you go. He is there. And again, he's just one big blue object. He cannot be um, paused or worked on in any way. So what you want to do is make sure you select the armature, or the skeleton, not his T-shirt. You want to select just the skeleton there, the armature system and do as I did before go to make proxy control alt P and confirm and now you can see it has gone yellow I can go now into pause mode and I should be able to pause him and move him around there you go so I can now use this to animate a scene um, knowing that I'm not gonna accidentally mess anything up with his um, his data because I can't change any anything with his like his t-shirt there I can't sh change anything there I can't change the textures if I go into texture view oh that's not really good I go to material oh I need to put some lamps these lamps are a bit too far away I think I can't really see what's going on <laughs> just barely see there let's turn this energy up there we go we can just about see him so all the textures are there they have come in automatically because they are they are, well they're not coming in at all really they've just linked this is t-shirt they've linked from the other files so everything is there that we need to be there we can just feel freely animate this guy now without worrying about messing anything up if I need to change anything about this guy I need to go back into the original file make the changes and um, any file or scene that I've brought this into will all change as well so it saves them to do each change in each scene different uh, separately. You can just make one change and it'll carry through to all your scenes. What I don't recommend though is going in and changing anything structurally with his armature or um, well, not so much the mesh but the armature definitely don't change that once it's been linked because that can really mess, especially if you've already started animating with it, can really mess everything up. So try and do that after Try to make sure you've uh, finished modeling and 
rigging everything before you even start, which you should do anyway. You shouldn't start animating until everything else is complete. Um, but there you go. That's the easy way that you would do that. Save importing everything separately. Um, so I'll leave it there anyway. Uh, this video is running kind of long. I hope that has been helpful for you. And once again, I'll see you another time in another place. In another, well, the same place, YouTube, of course. Always here, just at a different time. <laughs> I'll stop talking now. Ciao, blah.